So you might be in a very weird situation where for some reason your iPhone is not connecting to your Apple Watch. Now this can happen for an unlimited amount of reasons, but the very first thing I'd recommend doing for the most part is making sure there isn't some sort of software problem going on for both of these. And you want to make sure the software is compatible on both of your particular watches and your iPhones. So the first thing being, if your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS, but let's say your Apple Watch is running like a super outdated version of watchOS, that may mean that you are going to have some sort of compliance problem on both your products. So what you want to do is you want to start off on the product that basically has the latest software. So if let's say you already have like the iPhone on iOS 17, just go through and make sure your iPhone is up to date. So click on general, click on software update and go ahead and update your iPhone. Now on your Apple Watch, what you also want to do is see if there's an update available. So go inside of your Apple Watch settings. So you can tap on your digital crown right here and go ahead and hop into settings. Now, when you open up that settings application, all you want to do is scroll down until you see this little general option, which is right here. So tap on general and this next page is going to come up. Now, all you're going to want to do here is you want to go into software update and go ahead and update your Apple watch for like every 99 times out of 100. This is going to be the problem that you're going to have updating your Apple watch and making sure your Apple watch is compatible hardware wise and software wise to your iPhone is the main thing I'd probably recommend checking. Now, if that doesn't work, the other basic thing you can do is to go ahead and basically restart both your products. So go ahead and restart your Apple Watch. You can hold down the digital crown, get into this panel, and basically click on the power button and basically power off your Apple Watch. And you can do the exact same thing on your iPhone. So find your particular iPhone, hold down the power button and the volume button to basically power it off, slide the power off completely, power it off, and that might end up fixing the problem too. If that doesn't end up working, you may want to wait until there's a software update patch to fix this problem. For a lot of people, if you literally just wait until you know your iPhone is fixed. For a lot of people, if you just wait until Apple fixes the problem, that's probably all you're going to have to do there as well. And from there, you can just update your iPhone and that may end up fixing it. So that pretty much covers it up there too. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.